Hello guys, hello world, and hello YouTubers. Welcome to EO's Marketplace News. This is Alex. I'm your host for today. So guys, um, I hope you're doing all great there. So stay tuned and sit back, relax. All right. Now for today's news, um, PCN or preferred currency news, please um, don't forget to subscribe, all right, later on. Now, um, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, Bitcoin Cash, EOS, Stellar, Litecoin, Cardano, Monero, Tron, their price analysis. So for more details, don't change your channel, okay? Stay at EOS and Marketplace News. All right. So just a reminder to everyone who's watching this video, we here at EOS Marketplace News, we are not financial advisors, all right? So every token or coin that we will be mentioning or that we already mentioned in our other videos, um, we also did a research about them. So we highly recommend that you make your own research in order for you to decide and to make decision for yourself. Right? I'm sure you will agree in me on that one. Okay. So, guys, again, for today's news, this is brought to you by PCN or Preferred Currency News. Pro the price analysis for the following cryptocurrencies. Okay. Let's move forward. Now, um, while crypto markets have given up much of their October 15 gains, they're still trading well above their recent lows, now which is a positive sign. Good. A knee-jerk reaction to a news event can propel the markets only at to a certain level, after which fundamentals takes over. The next leg of the up move will be based on strong fundamental news flows. Crypto markets have been waiting for institutional investors to take it to the next level. Mike um, Novogratz, CEO and founder of Galaxy Investment Partners, believes that larger players might enter the markets in Q1 or Q2 of the next year, pushing it to the new highs. Right. The launch of Fidelity Digital Asset Services by leading U.S. investment firm Fidelity is a step in the right direction, providing institutional players a secure compliant and institutional grade omnibus storage solution for Bitcoin, Ethereum and other digital assets. However, a larger players are likely to test the waters before jumping in, which may take some time. Until then, is it worthwhile to buy and hold or is there a risk of a further fall? Are any of the top cryptocurrencies showing a reliable buy setup? Let's find out. All right. So first, BTC and USD. After the spurt on October 15, Bitcoin has been consolidating just below the overhead resistance at $6,831.99. Ideally, after invalidating a bearish pattern, the price should have rallied, but that has not happened. Now, if the bulls fail to scale the resistance level quickly, it will invite selling by the bears. A drop below the moving averages will retest the critical support zone of 6,075.04 to $5,900. All right, guys. So here, take a look at this image. Okay. Now, though the BTC and USD pair has broken out of the downtrend line, um, all the descending triangle here um it has now it has not picked up momentum so the moving averages remain flat which s shows equilibrium between the bears and the bulls the balance will tilt in favor of the bulls if the virtual currency sustains above 6831.99 the upside targets to watch are $7400 and $8400 now, traders holding long positions can maintain the stop loss at $5,900. The next few days are critical and will provide an insight on the next direction 
of the digital currency. Next, ETH and USD. Though Ethereum continues to consolidate, the bears have pushed it down towards the lower half of the range. The price is trading below both the moving averages and the RSI is also in negative territory. Here. Alright, now if the bulls fail to scale the moving averages within the next few days, the ETH or USD pair might retest the support at $192.50, below which a drop to the September 12th. Low of $167.32 is probable. Okay, contrarily, a rally above the overhead resistance will indicate strength and can carry the digital currency to the next resistance at $322.57. Therefore, traders should wait for a close. Um, be, be careful, okay? Be aware of the time. It's UTC time frame above $249.93 before initiating any long positions. Next, XRP and USD. Among all the top 10 cryptocurrencies, Ripple is the only one that has risen above its October 15 intraday high. It is also trading above the moving averages, which is a positive sign. Wow, congratulations, Ripple. The XRP and USD pair is on track to move up to $0.50 where it might face some resistance. Above this level, a rally to $0.55 and $0.625 is probable. If the digital currency turns down from $0.50, it can decline to the 50-day SMA, which should act as a support. <coughs> Excuse me. Both the moving averages are flat and the RSI is close to the midpoint. This points to a consolidation in the short term. Next, Bitcoin Cash, BCH or USD. It continues to trade inside the symmetrical triangle as a breakout or a breakdown evades it. Here you can see in the image. Now, the BCH and USD pair is trading below the moving averages and the 20-day EMA is turning down. The RSI is also in a negative territory, which shows that the bears have an upper hand. A breakdown of the triangle will resume the downtrend with minor support at the September 11, low of $408.0182. The digital currency will show strength if it breaks out of the triangle. The traders can keep the stop loss of their existing long positions at $400. Right, EOS and USD. EOS is currently trading close to the midpoint of the $6.8299 to $4.4930 range. Now, both the moving averages are flat and the RSI is also in neutral territory. This shows that neither party has an upper hand. A new uptrend will start in a breakout and close above the overhead resistance of 6.8299. Such a move can carry the EOS or USD pair to $9 and higher. Wow! On the downside, if the bears break below the immediate support of $5, a fall to the lower levels of $4.49 and $3.8723 is possible. Therefore, traders can protect their long positions with a stop loss of $4.90. So let's just hope that it will not be as low as that or it, it will not fall lower than these levels. Right. Next, SL, XLM and USD. So Stellar has been trading above the moving averages, which is a bullish sign. So it is currently trying to break out of the downtrend line and the overhead resistance at $0 $0.2498725. Oh, if successful, 
it will invalidate the bearish descending triangle pattern and rally to 0.36 with a minor resistance of 30 point, uh, 0 0.30 probable. Traders can initiate a long position on the XLM and USD pair if it closes, that's UTC time frame, above 0 0.27. On the downside, the digital currency has support at the moving averages and below that in the 0 0.204 to 0 0.2148 zone. If this zone breaks, a retest of the critical support at 0 0.184 will be in the cards. All right. LTC and USD. After the surge on October 15, Litecoin has again fallen to the bottom half of the range. Both the moving averages are flat and the RSI is in the negative zone. Oh. Okay. Now, if the LTC or USD pair trades below the moving averages for a few more days, the bears might attempt a breakdown of the range once again. Any breakdowns of $47 level will resume the downtrend and push prices to the next support at $40. Okay. The digital currency will form a reversal pattern if the bulls break out and sustain above $69.279. We don't find any trade as long as the price remains inside the range. Okay. ADA and USD. Cardano is struggling to climb above the moving averages. Currently, it is trading between the 20-day EMA and 0 0.073531. Here, both the moving averages are flat and the RSI is close to the 50 level, which shows a neutral sentiment if the bears break below the intraday low of October 15. The ADA USD pair can retest the low at 0 0.060105. The digital currency will show signs of strength if it breaks out of the overhead resistance at 0 0.094256. We suggest traders can remain on the sidelines until a new buy setup forms. All right, so here. XMR and USD. Monero has broken below, um, broken below both the moving averages. It is currently trying to stay above $107.80, below which it can slide to the $100 level. So once again, so let's just hope not. Failure of the bulls to keep prices above the moving averages shows weakness. So if the bears break below $100, a retest of $81 is probable. Okay, so the XRM and USD pair will again strength above $128.65. So currently, we don't find any buy setups. Hence, we are not suggesting any trade. Guys, be careful don't um for monero please again they said that it, they're not suggesting any trade next is trx or tron and usd after failing to sustain above the overhead resistance in october 15 tron is currently back in the range good the bulls are trying to keep the price above the moving averages below which the digital currency can drop to the bottom of the range. We don't find any buy setups as long as the TRX or USD pair remain stuck inside the 0.02815521 to 0.0183 range. Now, its next move will start either on a breakout of the range or a breakdown from it. There have been two intraday breaks out of the range that failed to sustain. Therefore, traders should wait for a close UTC time frame, guys, above the range before establishing any long positions. <coughs> excuse me. So, guys, <coughs> excuse me again. 
sorry for that so guys um that's the latest news for today now if you want to be the first one to get updated you can visit www.preferredcurrency.news okay again that's www.preferredcurrency.news so you can be the first one to get notified of the new updates okay subscribe now okay now you can use using your preferred method use paypal for monthly recurring that's only 15 dollars per month fiat or you can use the coinbase below here for only 180 dollars annual subscription to be paid with crypto so guys that's very um that's very affordable and it's a good investment though because if you will subscribe to preferredcurrency.news then for sure you will be the first one to get notified even if you haven't seen our videos here in eos marketplace.news you will be the first one or you will know also the news um maybe one day one day and then yeah i think it's one day before our videos and it's via email so don't worry we will not be um, we will not be sending spam messages okay so subscribe now all right so guys that's it for today's video now i hope i hope i hope you already take or took notes from the price analysis so that we can compare right we can have comparisons and that if you have thoughts if you have decided which would you like to invest which would you like to um if you'd like to change right so guys thank you so much for watching this video this has been alex now signing off bye